guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and if you like lifestyle tips from a married working college student that's what I post on here so we are gonna do a video today about buying a house and all of the process that went into getting in this house that I'm sitting in right now. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. The first thing I want to talk about is the house buying process. So if you don't care about that, there's chapters to where you can see what our house actually looks like and you can skip to it. But I wanted to talk about this in case other people were interested and it is very <laughs> difficult. It's not that easy. The first thing that's really important, even before you're buying a house, even if you're just a single person at all, is building your credit. We did not have any credit built up when we started looking at the option of buying a house back at the beginning of 2021. So we talked to our loan officer that was gonna help us and he said we had to spend several months building up that credit. So that's what we ended up doing. We got two credit cards and we just used one of them for gas and one of them for other random things like buying plane tickets things that were bigger and then we would pay them off as soon as we got our checks so that our credit would be built up quickly so if you are not doing that right now in a responsible manner you definitely should because it'll help you in the long run whether it's buying a house renting a car we had problems renting a car because we didn't have a credit card and buying cars too just all of the big purchases in life require built up credit so that's my first thing it's editing hannah i just wanted to say that the second step is actually to get a pre-approval letter from whoever's giving you your loan because you do need to bring that when you put an offer on a home just to have that so that they know that you have the finances to pay for the house that you're offering. So just wanted to put that in there. The second thing was actually the searching of houses, which the house market is very competitive right now. So there is not a lot of options, but I'm gonna show you a few clips of the houses that we were looking at before we found the one that we decided to put an offer on. Then after we searched for houses, we had to put in offers pretty quickly because of how competitive the house market is. So one of them that I did show in those clips, we put a backup offer on, which means that they already had an offer, but in case that one fell through, we wanted to be the second option and it didn't fall through. So that's what happened with that one. We put another offer on a house that was kind of out in the country and that one did get approved. We just really felt like it wasn't where the Lord wanted us. It was just really far away from the city and we just like to be close to everything. Then we got approved for this house and how that happened is there was another offer for this house that was going through and something happened with their financing and it just didn't work out so we ended up asking hey is this house still available and they said yes if you can get in here as soon as possible like within the next month we'll let you have it and we were like heck yeah so we came here we prayed over the house and we just felt like this is where the lord wanted us so that's how we got the approval for this house i did want to explain a little bit after you do get approved for a house what the loan process was and all of that stuff i do not know <laughs> very much about this process alec knows a lot more than i do but i just want to explain a little bit for people that have no idea. We had to give a check to our title company. That was the very first thing that we had to do. And for the next couple of weeks, we just would sign a bunch of documents, which is not very helpful. But there was all of these documents about the purchase and sale agreement and like all of these things. So we did DocuSign for all of those. Um, we just did it from our phone, but we had to sign them very quickly. 
because we needed to get the process going. We also had to turn in a lot of documents like proof of employment and bank statements and all of that. So that took a while to collect and <laughs> submit to them. But we got all of that. And then at the very end was the loan, which we almost were not approved for the loan. I don't know if I've explained this in a vlog. We had trouble with our 2020 tax return. We still haven't gotten it and it's 2022. It's definitely been filed and we've tried to reach out and we just can't figure out where it is. We almost didn't get approved for the loan for the house because of our 2020 tax return and it looking like we didn't submit it when we did. Luckily, they did do an exemption, which is the Lord because <laughs> normally they wouldn't do that. So we got an exemption and we got approved, which is great. And then on moving day, we went to the title company and we had to do our signing, which took like an hour, but it's basically just you signing your name on all of the papers so that it's all a legal document. And then after that, we got the keys and it's official. So that was how we got the house. It was very crazy. Now I want to talk about the move-in process and painting. So I have a few clips for that that I'll show you right now. We just signed our life away. Uh, <laughs> well, you can explain what that means. <laughs> we bought a home. We bought a home. We're on our way to it now. Yay. I know it doesn't seem like I'm very excited, but I'm not good at showing it. I'm super excitement. excited and I'm not good at showing it, but she is very like now stressed out because she's like, I have all of these things to do. So the moment we finish signing, she is now in action mode, but she wanted to take a moment to let you all know what just happened. So. True. <laughs> We're on our way. Document it. Good job, Mom. Thanks for We made a lot of progress. We're starting on this wall, tackling the dark gray. But everything else looks so light and happy. Looks so good. So we have on this wall the family green with the tan. And I think it looks good. It looks a little darker than I expected, but hopefully I end up liking it once it dries. Alec is going to help all of the boys get our second load because we have our first load in the garage. We only have two. That's everything right there. Um, and they're going to get the second load and then bring it over here. And meanwhile, I'm setting up painting to happen in our bedroom because I don't like any of the gray in this house so I want to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh is that not what we're saying? Wait are you videotaping this? Well no I started too late for this. Don't videotape this. <laughs> move-in process was crazy painting was crazy especially because I was still working basically full-time at American Eagle at the same time that we were moving so I didn't really help that much Alec and his friends worked on it a lot so I'm grateful to them because I was actually not part of it now I want to share where we're at now the current status of our home and the updates that we want to do in the future so let's take a tour of the house and you can come along with me. This is our front door. It's just a door and I have a little mat here. I'm not sure why there are bumps in our door. I really can't tell you what that's from, but it doesn't bother me that much, so I'm not gonna do anything about it. But then after you come in the door is our living room. So I have a shoe basket here. We have our couches table there's a bookshelf we have like decorative things here and the tv stand we want to get new side tables and coffee tables because they worked well for our apartment but they kind of look kid size ish and this house especially this one <laughs> so we definitely want to get new ones of those I'm not sure what I want to do on this wall, but I've been looking on Pinterest a lot to find things to put on this wall. Alec wants a new TV. We'll see about that. That's not as important to me. And then the bookshelf we may put upstairs or we may keep it downstairs. We 
cannot decide. So I don't know what's going to happen with it. That's why there's nothing on it because I might move it. But that is the living room. It's all tan and then that wall is obviously green. But here is the kitchen. So you just come through here. This is our pantry. It's not very nice looking. I need to redo it. And then our uh, fridge. We got all of the counters and cabinets. I love the cabinets. They are so nice. I love the whites. The only thing that I do want to change is the counters. This kind of makes me feel like old lady. And I really want like wood looking counters. But Alex said that would be expensive. So we'll see. But we probably will put a backsplash here eventually. I'm going to get some curtains to cover this window. And we have this door right here that goes to the backyard. And actually today we're going to get some blinds, like magnetic ones, so that we can remove them easily. But it's just going to cover this because it's kind of creepy at night. And I'm not going to go outside, but here's the backyard. We have a cute little deck. It's all fenced. And we have our little table and chairs, which we'll probably have to get bigger ones because we'll probably host a lot of outdoor things in the summertime, but that's the backyard. And then this is our table right here. Um, Alex boss actually bought it for us. It's very nice, very big, but we do need some new chairs. I do not like these chairs. So we're going to get rid of those and get some new ones. And then also I forgot to mention right here, we're going to put a record stand because there's a plug right there and we're going to put our record player and our records here. And then I'll put some decorations on the wall, but that's what's going to go on this wall. This is our little guest bathroom. This is what most people use. We just have towels, shelves that Alec hung. I don't really know why that's there. Um, the only thing, and you can't really tell on camera, this bathroom is yellow. So we're going to paint it the same tan as the rest of the house eventually. That's a project that we want to work on. And I feel the same way about these counters that I do in the kitchen. So that's the deal with that. Then we have over here just a whiteboard and something for our keys. And then this closet needs to be organized. So sorry that it's messy. But this is where we keep like extra paper goods, cleaning supplies. But I need to organize it. It looks so gross. Here is our garage. I'll turn the light on. We just had a Super Bowl party. So that's what all the chairs are for. But we have some stuff that we're going to sell out here. We have some shelves, Christmas decorations, just lots of random things. But we could fit a car in here if we clean it out enough. And then this closet is probably the worst of them all. It's our coat closet and it's just very messy. There's also, I think that's the water heater back there. Don't make fun of me if that's not what the water heater is. But that is all of the downstairs. So now... Let's go upstairs. So you can kind of tell here, this is the tan color. This is the yellow color. So the yellow starts here and goes up the stairs. We do want to change that. We don't like how there's two different colors on this wall here. But these are our stairs that just go up. That light's kind of old person looking, but no worries. They are carpet, which I do want to get to be hardwood floor because they're very hard to vacuum, but that is a project for another day. Then once you go up the stairs, this is another bathroom. So you have the mirror here and sink. This one has a shower and bath, and then it has a shelf here too that I put in there. So I think it's really cute. It looks good together in my opinion. This is Alex's office. So there's just superhero everything in here. It's very black, very boring in my opinion, <laughs> but it's not my office, so it doesn't matter. But he's got a lot of things in here, desk, chair, couch, instruments, comic books, so much stuff in here. But I don't really come in here very often. Next, we're gonna go into our bedroom. So this is what it looks like right now. I have a lot of things I want to do still, but we are going to hopefully get a TV mounted up here. 
which would be great. I may have to get a new dresser eventually. This one has seen better days. And I want it to match like the symmetry of the TV that we put up there. But this is what's up there right now. This is a temporary chair. It's going to go in my office eventually. But I'm going to put a Jesus chair, which will be cozy with pillows and blankets so that I can spend time with Jesus here. This is just our side table. There's nothing on the walls. The bed, I do want to change to be green to match the curtains, but I'm really having trouble finding pillows that match these curtains. So if you know of any that are not super expensive, let me know. And then this is my little makeup table. So I do need to get a little stool for it. And the mirror did fall off, so we have to rehang it. But this is where I do my makeup, and it's all stored in those drawers. This is our bathroom. So we do have this very convenient shelving unit here, which I got matching baskets for. Then the toilet, obviously. The sink. We got a wall decoration. And the shower curtain and bath mat. This bathroom is actually gray so I do want to change that eventually I think that would be good but this is a big bathroom to paint and then this is our walk-in closet so we have our hampers shoes undergarments <laughs> Alex side Alex shoes and then my side and then that's just like things you don't touch very much but I feel like it's a pretty good setup for us. Right outside of my bedroom is this linen closet, which also needs to be organized. But I have lots of things in there. And then if you go to this door, this is our laundry room, which is pretty self-explanatory. I have things drying. Now, this is my office. It's pretty messy because this is where I've been hanging out today. But I do have a closet here. I have this mirror from Target and this little rug and then my desk that I've been working at and we have the same green wall plant got the clothing thing that other chair that I was talking about is gonna go in that corner eventually and then that's all the stuff I'm selling on Facebook marketplace right there but that is pretty much all of our home thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Saturday, hopefully. Bye, guys.